Hi, I am Kate Rudd. Um, I'm the narrator of John Green's The Fault in Our Stars. It's a book about young people facing cancer and all that that means, but it's not a typical look at it. It's very honest and unflinching. It's not tied up too neatly. The characters are um, mainly Hazel and Augustus. We follow them throughout the entire story. They have very different stories, but they intersect. It's not just a story about cancer, but also about just being a teenager. Um, and from some perspectives, being the parent of a teenager. Um, it is about friendship and falling in love. It's about loss and also the successes that come with endurance and adjusting your perspective. I loved this book. Um, this was one of my very favorite books that I've done so far as a narrator. It was the kind of book that I couldn't put down. It's the kind of book I'll read again, and that even if I hadn't had a chance to perform this book, but I came across it in print, I would be just as enthusiastic about telling people to read it. In fact, I have been sort of annoying with friends and family concerning this book. Um, yeah, one of the challenges that I did face was the accents and pronunciation of the people that hail from Amsterdam, which is another location in the book that part of the plot sort of circles around. So that was, that was interesting for a girl from West Michigan. For me, um, as a mother, it was really, like, it wrecked me to read some of the portions of what it's like for a parent with a child who's fighting cancer or for a child who's fighting cancer the way they think about and interact with their own parents. That was brutal to read. Um, it also affected me in that this is a book that reminds you, really reminds you to treasure the universe, the world around you, beauty, um, very simple things like what we have each day that allows us to walk and be mobile and breathe comfortably. And it, it also pushes you to, to recognize and treasure and let the people that you love know that you love them. So this was a story that um, had me laughing, had me crying like the ugly cry for at least 100 pages. So that was awkward, but... Um, hopefully you won't hear that too much in the audiobook. Like you'll hear enough, but hopefully you'll be able to tell maybe what I'm saying. There was a lot of tears. Definitely, this is not completely a sad story. Um, it's not a straight read, like start to finish. You couldn't call this a tragedy because it is acerbic. It's witty. Each character has um, a darkly funny or or a very quick-witted sense of humor. And for me, that's really important to keeping me engaged in the story as a reader. Um, as a narrator, it's just plain fun to be dealing with characters that have an amazing sense of humor and go straight for the joke. Um, this book kept me laughing as often as it kept me crying like an insane person. Um, the community of nerd fighters was something I was pretty surprised to find. I actually didn't know who John Green was before I did this book. I don't know who m most people in contemporary culture are. I live in a little bubble with my children a lot of the time. So when I discovered John Green's uh, writing style, I was hooked. I was a fan immediately. But when I discovered the whole world that is nerd fighteria and John and Hank's vlog brothers thing, um, the whole initiative that is to decrease world suck seems worthwhile to me. So that kind of hooked me even further. And I have spent countless dozens of minutes laughing at Vlog Brothers episodes with my children now. And we have all learned a little something about giraffes and the value of putting things on your head and um, the need to celebrate intellectualism and encourage our children to read and encourage each other to read things that are good and smart. So it's been a fun adventure. I would say I'm a nerd fighter. And it turns out I have a couple of friends who are nerd fighters that I did not know. And they, um, they're kind of stalking me in a creepy way now. Um, I mean, this, this has been such 
an honor to be a part of. I really love my work. Um, for me, it's an honor anytime that I am allowed to put voice to a story and share it with people. But occasionally you run across a book that you feel like this is not for other people. This is just like this is my book. It's my my very own entertainment and my very own um, sort of time out on life. Like I had just as much fun performing this book as I would have as a teenager coming across a great book in the library and devouring it in one day. It was like that kind of transporting experience. And that's kind of rare to find as a busy adult. It was really, really an honor. And I think that this book will be one that as soon as my kids are old enough to stomach the content and read that many words in a row on a page, I'll put it in their hands. And it's the kind of book I would give to any teenager I know. And it's the kind of book I'd recommend as proof that young adult literature is not just for young adults. It is some of the smartest, most current, and relevant literature out there right now.